welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, well, these coming videos, I'm going to be making curtains for Freddie's flat. There was lots of footage to wade through and it was very long because it is a long, laborious task making curtains. So we've split them up into three separate parts. So I hope you enjoy them. Thank you, bye. Hello and welcome back to Tickled Pink in London. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make curtains. Now I am not a professional curtain maker by any means, so this is going to be like a step-by-step -step guide to making a simple pair of curtains. Originally I did think that the window lent itself to swags and tails, they would have looked lovely, but that is far, far beyond me. Over the next few days, I'm just going to be making the curtains for a bedroom. I've got some beautiful fabrics to use from I Live. First of all, this is the, this is the fabric for the curtains. It's gorgeous satin stripe. And the linings, they're gonna be very nice. I've never lined curtains in a fabric like this before, and um, so they should look lovely. Uh, so the fabrics were from I Live. I got the rest of the bits and pieces from John Lewis. So in here we have this is the rufflet tape. Actually, it's not called rufflet tape. It's called heading tape. Um, I've got interlining. So this is a lining that goes in between the fabric and the lining, it goes inside, um, it's, it's slightly thick and it just gives the curtains a real luxurious feel. I really, really regret not interlining my lounge curtains. Um, I'd like to take them all apart and put, put it in because it really does make a difference. And thread. Okay, the first thing to do is to go and measure the window. So Freddie's just, I've just um, taped a whole thing of me explaining about the curtains and, and when I'd finished, Freddie just said, that made no sense at all. I've no idea what you were talking about. So I'm going to try and make it a bit simpler. If you've never made curtains before, in fact, the only people that are going to be watching this video are people that have never made curtains before, so I'm going to try and make it simple. Obviously, this is the width of the fabric, so, oh, I can't take it out. So, <laughs> that's not going to look very nice, is it? It needs to be gathered, and the more it gathers in it, the nicer it will be. So, um, I'm going to have a width and a half, this is the width, a width and a half in each curtain. Does that make sense, Freddie? Right, that makes sense. Now, obviously, I have measured this before. That's how we knew how much fabric to order, but I just can't remember. I'm gonna cut them out now, so I need to just double check. So, Freddie, can you help me? So, we need to pretend, really, we should have the rail up. So let's pretend that the curtain track is three inches above, which is there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so from the top of the curtain track... Just hold them lower and lower. Lower? A bit lower. What do yeah, you mean there. a bit lower? There. All right. You're pushing it up. There. Okay. Right, so, 101 inches. Is that right? <laughs> just hold it up again. Hold it again. This tape measures awful. Just remember, because I'll forget. <laughs> that says only 93 inches. <laughs> it's not up. Oh, okay. Okay, right, you ready? Yeah. Right, 101 and a half inches. Dalmatians. Can you remember that? Yeah. Yes, yeah, 101 Dalmatians. Um, by the way, you've seen the Cruella film, it was fabulous. So was that 101 or With three? three? Inches. Okay, so 101, add an inch to turn over at the top. I'll explain this when I'm doing it. 101 and a half. No. 102 and a half. Plus, we need a nice hem. 
So let's add eight inches on for the hem. 110 and a half. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. 110 and a half inches. Okay, so what I need are three lengths of 110 inches. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. For collars, it's a width and a half. Right, so you're doing one width, one width, yeah. half, half, so that makes three. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense now. So, yeah. Okay, let's cut them out. This is really nice because it's obviously been sent from the factory and there's a really nice straight edge. Often when you buy it from, uh, from a fabric shop, there's big um, squares taken out where people have um, taken samples and then you've got to start like make your own line which I always find really nerve-wracking but this this is great this is going to be easy okay I've measured out the first length and I'm about to cut it okay so this is the first um, curtain cut out Freddie's just said to me so am I sewing another half onto here which i am and the reason that you don't see the seam is because they'll all be gathered so it'll just get hidden in the gathers on with the next one oh my god i'm panicking now because there's loads of fabric left over Imagine if I've cut them too short, I'm just going to have to go and re-measure. It's fine, I've just checked and like Freddie just pointed out, we ordered extra to do the valance. That's why there's so much left. But I'm not sure there's enough left to do the valance. But anyway, I'm not worrying about that now. Actually, I might be better without the rug. lining that I cut out I decided um, instead of measuring it to use this floor so I hope whoever laid the floors laid it straight because I was just using the lines on this wooden flooring which is what I'm going to do now to cut out the interlining hello it's the next day it got a bit late last night so the first thing I'm going to do today is to cut the third drop of material in half and make two big pieces. So I'll be doing the lining, the interlining and the fabric. Okay, I've folded them in half and there's a mad fly flying around. Um, I folded them in half and I'm just going to cut them. I feel really nervous doing this. I think it's because they're for Madame over there in the corner. She's making me nervous. Okay, I've just been smoothing it all out with my big yard stick, my meter stick. And I'm now going to cut it in half. Actually, what I should do is um, press it, press a nice crease and then cut it straight. I'm going to do that. I used to be really good at sewing and I just cannot remember what to do. I'm trying to fill the bobbin with this colour. Um, but I really just don't know how to do it. Remembered how to thread a sewing machine. 
shame. <laughs> Doesn't fill you with confidence, does it? No. Yay! At least I can thread the sewing machine. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so with the interlining, when you're sewing the pieces together, you don't put them together and make a seam. You just sew it one piece on top of the other. And unfortunately, because I'm not at home, I haven't got all my bits and pieces, so I'm going to have to do this with pink thread. But it won't matter because you'll never see it because it's going to be right in between the fabric and the lining. So a machine light isn't, there must be a loose connection because it's flashing as I'm sewing. I feel like I'm in a disco. Okay, I am now sewing the two pieces of lining together. So right sides together. This is the fat width. This is the half width. Can you see? So I'm just sewing them together to make one big piece. Okay, I have done that. So now I just need to press the seam open. Um, that's the most important thing when you're making curtains to press them at every stage. And I mean iron, I don't know if it was Coco or Freddie, but I remember one of them once saying, why do you press them? They thought I was gonna press them together. So iron them. The um, iron's spitting a bit. What you should really do is put a clean tea towel over when you're doing anything like this. It is the wrong side, but even so, I don't know what would happen if a big dirty water splodge came out. Okay, so there is my nice seam. Look away now if you're a curtain maker because I am really making this next bit up. Um, I'm trying to work out in my head how to get the interlining into the middle. I really don't want to hand sew these curtains any more than I have to because they're so big. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I don't know if this is the right thing to do, I hope Freddie can't hear me. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew the interlining onto the lining and treat it as if it's one piece of fabric so i'm not sure how i'm going to do that but i'm going to try i've had to come in the bedroom because there's more floor space so i've um, put the lining on the floor i'm trying to smooth it out with this stick but i'm not doing a very good job really because can't walk around the edge so every time I stand on it so I'm going to try not to worry about that and put the the other piece on top I'll put the seams together so that's the small piece this is the wide piece on this side and I'm going to try and lay it over it So for now I've got the lining, the interlining, I'm going to sew them together on three sides to make one piece. Okay, I'm going to attempt to, to sew these two bits together, it's, it's so heavy and I'm boiling hot. It's the only way that I could think how to do it, just to sew them together and treat it as if it's one piece of fabric. Okay, so I need to decide now whether to do the other curtain exactly the same or whether to carry on with this and see if it will actually work. 
um, which yeah, I think I'm going to do that because if I had to unpick all this now twice, I would probably kill myself. In fact, I'm wishing um, Freddie has gone now so I can <laughs> I can say what I think without her earwigging. Um, I kind of wish I wasn't doing this just because Freddie is so fussy. If I was doing this for myself, it wouldn't bother me at all. But as you can probably tell, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Um, I thought I did until today, uh, but when I couldn't even remember how to thread the machine, I, that should have been a warning to me. Um, so yes, I'm going to carry on with this curtain. Okay, I am just about to join these two pieces together, um, being careful to have got the satin stripe matched up. So I'm just pressing the seam open. I'm absolutely starving hungry. Freddie's gone. So I've just had a rummage in her cupboard. I found a tin of fudge, which I've eaten. And the fridge is just, the only thing in the fridge are bottles and bottles of champagne, which I'd better not start on that, because I've got to drive home. She doesn't even drink. What a waste. This is a nightmare. <laughs> right, okay, this is my curtain. This is the, uh, the right hand, if you're looking at the window, this is the right hand curtain. It's been joined together. There we are, there's the, the seam down there. So this is the right hand curtain because you want the bulk of the fabric, um, that's the central bit, um, not to have the seam. So that will be towards the edge and hopefully you won't see it. So I need to spread this out and this lounge is huge but it is still not big enough to do this properly. Um, I've given up trying to um, get my stick and smooth it out because there's just no point. It's, um, I keep having to stand on it. So this is the right hand curtain face facing me the right side out okay it's all uneven at the bottom but i can't worry about that then this is also the right hand lining um there's the there's the thin bit there's the thick bit and I need to put this on the top so it's right sides together so it's right sides facing each other and hopefully all I'm going to have to do is I don't know what it's called. 
I'm going to leave two inches about. So I'm really making like a great big bag that I'm going to turn inside out. 